Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the performance there at the beginning. Today's video is really special because first off, 21 Pilots, all those samples you heard at the beginning were from 21 Pilots' new album, Trench. I love the 21 Pilots. They're easily one of my favorite bands and Josh Dunn is easily one of my favorite drummers. So it was really special creating something from their new album. Secondly, this video features the brand new Alesis Strike Multipad. Now, this uh, is a new electronic percussion looping sampling uh, device that just hit the market today. And Alesis hit me up and was like, hey, we'd love to send one of these to you to check out, to play around with, to have fun with it. We're really proud of it. And if you like it, maybe you'll make a video because it'll be one of the first ones out there for people to see about the product. And so um, I played around with it. I had a lot of fun with it. I created this video with it and uh, I love it. And so I thought, hey, Let's make a cool video that showcases the features and shows how cool you can, the cool stuff you can do with it. But then also now I'm gonna do like a little bit of instruction and kind of show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of how I did what I did. And then also show you a few of the features about this new pad. So let's check it out. So as I'm sure you've noticed, this pad has similar looks and features to some of the other pads on the market. But one of the features that really stands out to me and one of the ones that I absolutely loved was the built-in looper. So you actually have the ability to overdub yourself as you're playing and continually build and add on to what you're doing to make this big performance with just yourself. And that's what I did at the beginning is I added samples and then more samples and a groove and then eventually it was playing it by itself and I just came in on drum set. Now, I'm gonna show you how that works. So we're in the performance uh, section here. You click view and now it's over in the looper. It's set to four measures, so that's set to a four measure loop. So every four measures it's going to start over. And then you click arm to record. And once I hit start record, I'm gonna get a four count into the actual performance at whatever BPM I set. It's set to 90 BPM, which is the BPM of the song Morph by 21 Pilots that I used as the basis for this performance. And so it'll click me in and then I can start. And the first four measures, it will then repeat whatever I play. So check this out. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now it's gonna play it back. Cool. So now it's doing that. Now I'm gonna overdub on top of that. So once it comes back through, I'm actually gonna play and add. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now it's gonna play that back. And now I can continue to dub over it, or I could play drum set, or I could stop the dub, and I can just improvise on top of it. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, jumpsuit. <laughs> so now I built a sample and I can add more if I want. At this point, I've switched off the dub and I can play whatever I want without it being added to that dub. So that feature is a lot of fun because you have so much room to create sounds and concepts and then once you get it going, you can jump on a drum set or any other instrument and actually play along with it and create a really cool live performance. Now, uh, a few other really notable features here. As you noticed, I added my own samples onto the device here. And you can do that with a USB. You can actually record it directly in from a computer or an iPad or some other source. Um, and you also have um, the ability to edit those samples once they're in there. So you've got different effects. You can go in and edit uh, like dynamics on them and like, you know, you can have them fade in, fade out. There's a lot of different things you can actually do to your individual samples once you put them onto the multi-pad itself. 
Past that, there are some really cool features such as different um, outputs. So you've got your main outputs, which I'm sending over here to record right now. You've got aux outputs. So say you wanted to put a metronome up here that you could click off the band with, but you only wanted the band to hear it. Well, you set that pad to go to the aux outs and the aux outs send to the ears that your bandmates have, but it doesn't go to the front of the house. And so that's cool. You also have an individual volume there. You've got a phone's volume, and I thought it was really cool that they have an eighth inch and a quarter inch input for your headphones. So say you forget your adapter, you're not in trouble. Or if you get a pair of headphones that only have the quarter inch, you're, you're golden too. It's not just an eighth inch. So really, really unique. Plus you have the opportunity to put two sets of headphones in at the same time if you want a second person to listen. Another quick feature that I wanted to point out is this A link right here. So you've got two knobs, a one and a two, and then you have three different banks, A, B, and C. Each one can control different master effects or pad effects, volume, pan, phasers, delay, things like that. And you quickly, using the different banks and the two knobs here, can access and change those while you're playing. Uh, I didn't get too in-depth on that, so I'm not going to try and show you exactly how it all works. But um, I've seen a little bit of it, and I've messed around a little bit of it, and there's a lot of flexibility there. All right, so I was joking with the guys at Alesis that if I did a video on this thing, I would probably spend like five minutes talking about the lights. And I know that sounds funny, but the lighting on this thing is really a huge difference. When you've played pads that you can't see where everything is in the dark, that's just a huge win in itself to the fact that there's the lights with each individual pad that show you where they are. But past that, you can actually do really cool things with them. Like here, I switched all the lights to yellow and white to match the album art for Trench. Um, and then you also have a lot of cool options past that where you can have them flash different colors when they're going. You can have it, uh, let's see if I can switch over here. Yeah, so this one right here, this is called Power Duel. It's one of the built-in uh, samples and, and kits that are on this thing when you get it. This up here is flashing. And what that's doing is that's letting you know that's a loop. And so when you hit it, it's a tambourine loop. Now the light goes with the sample. So you know how long that sample is going. Doesn't really matter that much for a tambourine loop. But if you have something that you're like, oh, I can't remember, is that a four bar or is that a two bar? You can actually see the light progress and make it to the end. So a lot of really cool and useful things. Plus, you know, if you're someone like me who thinks about oh, I need to match the lights to the album art for what I'm doing. Like, it's a really, really cool feature. So I hope this video has given you some cool insight into the Elisa Strike Multipad. Uh, I didn't want to go too in depth and spend 30 minutes talking about each individual feature, but I wanted to show you guys some of the cool stuff this thing has. That way, if you're interested in uh, an electronic pad like this, or if you've never even heard of one, you know some of the things that you can do with it. And um, I really hope that, uh, you know, if you need to find out more, or you want to find out more, there's probably going to be a lot of cool informational videos and you can click the link in the description. Uh, I believe I will link you guys over to Sweetwater where they have this thing for sale if you want to look into it. And um, yeah, happy drumming. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to play you guys out here with uh, one of my other sample kits that I put together. And uh, it's got some of the same samples, but then it's got some other drums and stuff on here. I called it, uh, let's see here, I called it Trench 2.0. There we go, Trench 2.0, and I actually switched the lights around a little bit. So another thing about the lights, the lights on here, all the drum samples are yellow, and then all the song samples are white. So I can look at this clearly and know, okay, here's where my drums are, here's where my samples are. So, happy drumming, enjoy this, let's have some fun. <laughs>